everyone. So today's vlog is my Poland vlog. I went to Warsaw and Krakow, two very different cities. Warsaw is much more industrial, whereas Krakow is a much smaller, quaint, quiet town. And I enjoyed both of them very much. The reason why I wanted to go to Poland is because I am part Polish. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to learn more about my ancestry and the culture and I also wanted to visit the concentration camps. Uh, my ancestry does come from, um, well, they are Jewish Poles. So I just kind of wanted to see what the concentration camps were like and um, kind of learn more about it in depth other than from history class or a history textbook. I also went to a couple restaurants and cafes, tried out some Polish food, which I've never had before, and I tried some plum desserts, which were interesting because I never really see any plum desserts. So uh, yeah, it seems pretty popular over there in Eastern Europe, and I hope you guys enjoy this video overall. I took an Uber from the airport to Old Town Warsaw, uh, Poland was very very cold. I could barely leave my fingers out of my gloves for like more than 10 seconds But it was a very colorful and quaint little place with a lot of cute boutiques that sell souvenirs. I uh, really enjoyed the the market that is located in the center of Old Town it had a lot of stalls for food and hot chocolate and even an ice skating rink it was like a little Christmas market, kind of reminded me of London when I visited. I wish I had the chimney cakes there, but at least I got to try some when I was back in the US. Um, and I checked out the Royal Castle that is also an old town. It is now a museum with many art pieces. So I went to one of Warsaw's oldest restaurants and one of Chopin's favorites called Onoratka and it's been around since the 1800s. So they have a lot of traditional Polish food on the menu and even a special Chopin menu. So I decided to get some wine and some potato pancakes as an appetizer which were really tasty. just learned that I'm not the biggest fan of potato dumplings but the duck was definitely very delectable. I just walked around uh, Old Town Warsaw which was very cute and I came across a fortress which was kind of interesting. Never knew they had a fortress or anything like that but yeah it was very very cool kind of medieval I also went to the Multimedia Fountain Park, but nothing was lit up, so it's very sad. An Uber to the, that very tall building right there, which is the Palace of Culture and Science, which I thought was a museum, 
but it's not. So basically you just come up to the very top of the building and you kind of just look around at the city and see the beautiful city views. try this famous chocolate place. It's called E Weddell. It's been around since the 1850s and they have many awards so I wanted to try out this chocolate. It's very cold so I think I'm going to be getting some hot chocolate. So this place actually originated from Warsaw. So it opened in 1851 in Warsaw and it looks like they have a lot of different options to choose from. But yeah, everything looks so cute, especially the interior. I love the, the design in there and all the pink. I love the pink. So I got the slightly bitter hot chocolate with double milk and it is delicious it's very rich and creamy which i love so i got pierogi which is basically polish dumplings that are fried they're pretty good i stumbled across this internet cafe when I took an overnight bus to Krakow, got there at 4 a.m. and I was at 1% battery, but I found this place, so I decided to stay there and stay warm and just charge my phone and do my essay. I didn't really get much sleep uh, considering I stayed in an internet cafe, but definitely was a very beautiful sight to see in Krakow. I went to get some food at this place called Costa, which is basically like a Pete's coffee. And I got a plum pie. I really want to try plum dessert there. And of course, my morning coffee. So I'm so glad I got my coffee because I was freezing my toes off. It was really bad. I had to wear like two pairs of socks. So I'm not used to that. But yeah, I just walked around before my tour at the concentration camp. Kind of just waiting for the van. We got some wireless tour guide uh, thingies. I don't know what they're called, but it's basically a, like a radio. And I didn't really want to show the camp, so that's all you get to see. I uh, went to Schindler's factory. And I thought that one was very interesting. Has a lot of history. It's uh, basically a museum now, so you can't really tell that it's a factory. So if you haven't seen Schindler's List already or know who Schindler is, probably Google that. But yeah, the movie is definitely good. It has Liam Neeson in it. We definitely recommend that movie. showed like the lives of the Jewish people that did hide or were taken away it's very sad and they had Schindler's office and all the pots and pans made of enamel so his factory was an enamel factory if you didn't already know but yeah I went back to Krakow just looked around uh, kind of explored the city center and I went to the cafe and I got a plum donut. I do love plum, so I haven't seen a lot of plum flavored stuff around. So, you know, now's my chance. I was cool that they had some horse carriage rides in the city center. And I took the train back to Warsaw where my Airbnb was. 
decided to get some breakfast before I left for my flight at a place called Charlotte. I believe it is a French bakery or French inspired bakery. It's very hip and cool. I of course had to get my morning coffee and I also ordered a croque monsieur which is basically a ham sandwich that is fried. So I love fried food. back at the airport and they have a Johnny Rockets which is kind of amazing I haven't seen Johnny Rockets in forever decided to get some souvenirs got me some e weddle and some vodka so sad to leave but bye Poland well I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe down below if you haven't already and comment down if you have any suggestions or if you like the video if you didn't like the video <laughs> but uh yeah i hope to see you guys again next time bye